This video content is not intended for children. Ugh. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I just happened to be in the neighborhood, and I'm going to see if this Dick Sporting Goods still sells fishing tackle. The one closest to my house stopped selling it a few weeks ago. Let's go see what the deal is. That was fast. About two minutes after I walked in there, I could see that there was no more fishing stuff. They had a huge poster of a guy fishing on the wall, but in front of that was like flannel shirts and other camping stuff. This is the second Dick Sporting Goods that I've been to in Tennessee that has stopped selling fishing stuff. And that's a bummer. Anyway, let's head over to Academy Sports, see if I can find anything good over there. All right, here we are at Academy. Fingers crossed. Let's find some good deals on stuff I want. Oh my God. I just spent a hundred dollars at Academy. Sick. I'm just sick. Anyway, let's go see what I got. Now that I'm back in the studio with a cold one, let's see what I got from Academy. I still can't believe it. I spent a hundred bucks. Let's get into it. $99.08, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna call that $100. One of these items costs 60 bucks. Let's check that one out first. I could have bought a reel. I could have bought a rod. I could have bought a ton of lures. But instead I bought this. This is a size 12 rubber chest waders with the built-in boots. I'll try them out on a different episode, but I just wanted to show you what I spent a majority of the money on. These were $59.99, but I think they could help open up a world of fishing that I'm not quite used to. I'm not sure how often I'll use them, but I'll definitely give them a try. The one thing I'm most concerned about when using waders is it adds, you know, 10 to 20 minutes on the prep, and it also adds 10 minutes to even an hour on the cleanup. I think I'll need somewhere to hang them and let them dry. Maybe the shower? I'm not too sure yet. Anyway, 60 bucks for chest waders, rubber chest waders, not neoprene, right? I had an old pair of neoprene, but I'm not a big fan of them. The boots don't fit right. You need like a size 18 boot to go over the outside. It's just a pain in the ass and I never got accustomed to it. So I'm looking to give these a try instead. Now for the lures. I got about $30 worth of lures and stuff. Let's go through that real quick. Good stuff, good stuff today. Oh yeah, while I was up here at Academy, Someone recognized me from the show and came up to me and said, Hey, aren't you the guy from Realistic Fishing? I'm a truck driver and I always watch your channel. It was good seeing you up there and I hope you got a lot of good deals. I found some pretty good stuff myself. Let's check it out. Well, this isn't exactly a fishing lure, but it's a three quarter inch bilge kit. Right, so this is like that corrugated plastic hose that attaches to your bilge pump so you can pump the water out of your boat. Got this as a backup. You never know when you might need to replace that. Mine looked a little old. Anyway, what did I pay for this? Plumbing kit, $2.48. I thought that was a good deal. It was definitely on sale, so I picked it up, $2.48. Here we have a Strike King KVD popping perch. 
I never caught one on the pooping perch, but it was such a good deal I couldn't pass it up. Once again, $2.48. You know, maybe if I give it a few more tries I could get something on this. Kind of weird, but I think it might work if you find an aggressive bass. Let's see what else we got. Got a tour grade football jig from Strike King. Half ounce jig here. Good looking jig. Made with a gamakatsu hook. For this I paid a buck forty-eight, right? That's a pretty good deal for a Strike King football jig. A buck forty-eight. I probably bought more than one. All right, I got a couple of these in my collection already, but I thought I'd add some of these smaller ones. This is a Bill Lewis stutter step. So this is a topwater walking bait. It kind of has a motion like this. Sort of looks like a banana. Never caught one on it, but I'm anxious to try the smaller size. I think that'll really help around here. So the stutter step I paid once again, $2.48. That's a good deal for a stutter step. All right, this is not a fishing lure, but it is an important item, especially when you have a boat. That is Mystic Gear Lube. It says here it delivers effective and extreme pressure lubrication and corrosion protection under marine conditions. This is a lowercase lubrication here. When you're replacing the impeller, you might as well see if you need some of this. Let's see what else we got. Here we have a Sixth Sense Curve 55. Good looking crankbait here in kind of a shad pattern. I'm not too familiar with this one. It says it utilizes a special weight system that will make this crankbait want to dance in the water. Sixth Sense is a popular brand nowadays. Thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. Especially at $2.48. If you can get six cents crankbaits for two forty-eight, I suggest you pick it up. Looks like I have more than one of those. Here's another six cents curve, fifty-five, and another six cents curve, fifty-five. I picked up three of them at two forty-eight each. Let's keep going see what else I got. Here we have a Denny Brower Structure Jig 3 quarter ounce. Notice the different head shape on this one. Kind of flat. It's got Denny Brower's picture that means it's good. It says the new Denny Brower Structure Jig increases hookup ratios and decreases hang ups versus traditional jigs. Well I hope so because I get stuck on stuff all the time when I'm fishing jigs. It is one of the snaggiest lures out there. That and the Ned Rig. Anyway at a buck forty eight I had to pick this up. Maybe I'll get a PB bass on it. You never know. Here we have another stutter step. Had to pick it up. $2.48. Pairs up with this other one. Here we have Hardline Sticker Off Decal Adhesive Remover. It's not a fishing lure, but it comes in handy, especially in the boat. A dollar and 48 cents. Definitely worth it. Let's keep going. Here I got a package of Super Salt Plus 
Blue Watermelon Super Flukes. Good color on this. This is a 10 pack. For this I paid 98 cents. I thought that was a good deal. 98 cents. Oh, did I ever say how much I paid for the gear lube? Gear lube, 98 cents. Cracking deal for gear lube, especially Mystic. That's the good stuff. Here we have Kitech Easy Shiner 5 inch Silver Flash Minnows. Good looking bait here in a clamshell. I've had success on Kitech before. Usually they're a little bit expensive, but when I can find them on sale, I definitely pick them up. For the Kitex, I paid $2.48. Cha-ching. Great deal. Anything else? Here we have Procure Inshore Saltwater Super Gel. I know I'm not fishing in salt water. But I like the added confidence that gels and scents give me. Whether it's in my head or it's real, it doesn't matter. Sometimes when I use this kind of stuff, I feel like I'm going to get a bite. And that's when I get a bite. It says it's made from real whole fish bait. Good stuff here. Procure. For this I paid $1.98. Definitely worth a try. One more item. Here I have the Lunker Hunt Pocket Frog. I like fishing frogs. I like fishing topwater. I just don't get a lot of strikes. So this year, maybe I'll try something smaller, like the Pocket Frog. Maybe on a spinning setup with some braid. I don't know. We'll see what this can do. Have any of you guys caught fish on a Lunker Hunt Pocket Frog? Anyway, the Pocket Frog, $2.48. Again, great deal for Lunker Hunt, especially frogs. So there we go. $100 spent at Academy. I used to like to shop around, go to different stores, but one of them, <coughs> Dix, no longer carries fishing stuff. So it looks like I'm going to be spending more money at Academy. Thanks for watching. Realistic fishing. I still can't believe I spent a hundred bucks. Keep it realistic.